What is up and welcome back to the Sticky Art Channel. If you're new here, my name is Justin and I just got in 10 blank skateboard decks that I'm going to be painting on. And in this video, I'm going to show step by step how to custom paint a skateboard. For this board, I'm going to be painting the channel logo, Sticky the Frog. Since I'm using brand new boards, there's not a lot of prep work. I'm going to go ahead and open this up. The skateboard decks that I ordered are a really nice professional quality 7-ply maple natural wood deck and they come from the factory with a clear coat on them. But for any of the areas that I want to paint, I'm going to go ahead and start by sanding that off. And I'm going to sand down the side or the area that I'm going to be painting on with a 220 grit. You can use anything from 200 to 300 grit. You don't want anything too aggressive that it's going to leave lines, but you also want something that's going to give the paint something to stick on. After the board is sanded down in the area that I'm going to paint, I'm going to come back with a paper towel with some isopropyl alcohol or rubbing alcohol and wipe everything down. This will get the dust off as well as any surface oil and make sure that the paint has a really clean surface to stick to. Next, I'm going to sketch the outline of the design using pencil. Once I have the design sketched on the board how I like it, I'm going to come back and paint on a layer of gesso. This will give the paint extra layer, almost like a primer, something really good to stick to. Also, having a base coat of white gesso makes the colors that are on top a lot more consistent as well as pop more. The wood deck is naturally pretty smooth, but it does have some wood grain and the gesso helps to fill that. And I actually recommend thinning out the gesso when using it. This will help put it down in a lot thinner layers and you're less likely to get raised spots from the brush strokes. I'm going to paint the whole outline and then come back in and sand it down once it's completely dry. After I've got it pretty smooth, I'm going to come back in with one thin layer. And you can always come back in with another thin layer afterwards, sanding in between layers. It's really important to get the base coat smooth. This will determine how smooth the final paint job is. Next, I'm going to block in the main part of the colors using Posca pens. And I like to put a thin layer down first, let it completely dry, and then come back and put a second layer over it to make sure everything is nice and smooth.
Next, I'm going to add the final outline and details. I always find this part of the painting the most satisfying. For the lettering, I just went over the brush stroke and I wanted to keep it really simple and clean. I had a lot of fun with this board and I definitely am going to be doing some other boards in the near future. I already have a few boards started that I've been painting on, I'll share those at the end. And if you are interested in getting something painted by me or a custom skateboard commission, feel free to reach out to my business email that is on the channel's about me page. You can also hit me up on Instagram, send me a message on there. And also, if you'd like to check out some more of my art, make sure to follow over on Instagram at StickyArtChan. Once I had an outline the way I liked it, I came in and added some final highlights and details. After the paint was complete, I let everything dry. And then I sprayed two coats of satin clear coat enamel. And I like to spray a thin coat down first, let it completely dry and then come back in and spray a second coat. For hanging a skateboard on the wall, I like to use a fuzzy pipe cleaner, but I've also seen people use shoelaces, rope, thread, heavy duty fishing line. And all you do is take whatever you're gonna use to hang it on the wall and put it through the top two holes. And the reason why I like the fuzzy pipe cleaner is because it holds its shape and it makes it really easy to get on a nail. And I'm using a nail with a hook on it. I really like how the board came out. Let me know what you think in the comments below. And thanks so much for watching. If you did enjoy this video, make sure to give it a thumbs up as well as subscribe and turn on notifications for when I post my newest videos. And I'll be painting some more skateboards in the near future. If you do have any other ideas that you'd like to see painted on a skateboard, let me know those as well in the comments below. I'll also be doing some commission boards as well as selling some of the completed boards on my Etsy shop. So stay tuned and I'll post an update on Instagram when I start listing the boards on the Etsy shop. Thanks again for watching and until next time, peace.